Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Precarious Beer Projects. Everything is lava, but the swings are bass, double IPA. Uh, this is a double IPA. Idaho 7 and Mosaic, 8.1%. Weird stuff on there, that's okay. Everything is lava. We make up the rules to our dippers as we go, a lot like the floor is lava game we used to play as kids. This double IPA features pineapple forward Idaho 7 and a mixed berry-like mosaic hops on top of an extremely soft and creamy body. It's a fun and playful beer that also wards off cooties. And yes, it did win gold at the 2018 Virginia's Brewers Cup. So. So another Virginia brewery here. Yeah. Out of Williamsburg, Virginia. And generally, we like what these guys put out, so I'm excited to see. So this one, they can't, I mean, they, they rotate this one, what, every year or so they come out with a spear. Um, it, it is in distribution, so some bottle shops up here Northern Virginia are getting their beer now. Yeah, it's got the same cool sort of style as the uh, the previous one we did. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. No Tag Backs. No Tag Backs, that's the one. Um, yeah, it's got that cool like 80s sort of thing. Yeah. It's in the same series, so it makes sense that they, that they did it that way. Um, this is an 8.1% double IPA. So uh, interestingly though, they claim that uh, Pineapple Forward Idaho 7. Is that a hop known to produce that I mean, particular? It's a, it's a hop that produces tropical notes, like citrus, like there's notes of grapefruit in it, papaya, um, some orange. Yeah. I haven't heard of pineapple though, but I maybe the it... combination of mosaic and Idaho gives it a pineapple. Possibly. It's not a hop known to produce pineapple on its own, I guess, just like it's it's a more earthy kind of hop. Yeah. But yeah. We'll see what happens. It's resiny, here. you'll get some pine notes out of it too. It looks um, kind of dull. It's a dull sort of hazy orange kind of color. Well, let's uh, let's smell test this one and see what kind of notes we're we're getting out of this. See if it's accurate. So I am getting that papaya. Lots yeah, of papaya. Papaya is what I'm getting. It's really it's really um, obviously papaya. It smells delicious. It does smell good. Smells a little bit uh, like it's gonna be creamy, and it mm -hmm. says creamy on there, soft and creamy. It smells, it, it's gonna, I feel like this is gonna be a pillowy kind of hoppiness yeah. to it. Okay, well, let's dive in and see what we get out of it. Cheers. This tastes exactly like it smells to me. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit more tart than the smell, than the aroma. Um, but yeah, very, very nice, gu uh, not guava, <laughs> um, very nice papaya papaya taste to it. <laughs> um, I'm not getting that pineapple. Maybe a little hint in the background. I think the comment, I'm getting, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of pineapple, but I see where, where they're coming, where that. they're coming from with that, yeah. with the pineapple. Yeah, I'm getting some, like the resiny, the resininess. I guess, of the yeah. pine. It's, it is a little dense and piney. It's a little bit bitter on the back now. Mm -hmm. They also use mosaic in this too. Yeah. I, I like the combination of hops that they're using right here. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is another one that reminds me of Precarious, I mean, uh, Precarious, uh, uh, Parallel 49's beers. It has something to do with the combination of the hops that, that are used. I'm convinced. Something with the uh, the the balance of of what they use and and whether they dry hop or or combine in the boil, I think has a lot to do with that particular taste. And I get that from Parallel Forty Nine. That was the first one that I've had that had that, and now right. we've had a couple more that have you know nailed that on the head. It's a really good flavor, and I enjoy every second I'm drinking that. That's yeah. That cre it's not over creamy, like it's not like a, a, a thick creamy IPA, but it's, it's like just, it's just right. You know, yeah. it's balanced. It's enough. It's it's a little creamy. It's super smooth. It just like finishes nicely. 
It's a nice sweet, it has like sweet tropical notes to it from that papaya and from the papayaness. It plays really well with the hop combination that mm. they use. Like that, those 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 fruity notes, they really know how to coax that out and, and create like a really tropical, creamy sort of like enjoyable beer. They're like this is a double IPA that doesn't drink like a double no. IPA. That is definitely super. 8.1%? Yeah, super no. easy to drink for an 8% beer. That feels more like that's, a 6% beer right there. That's a little dangerous. There's no sort of alcohol twinge to it. There's yeah. no There's no kind of like, any sort of weird off flavors in it. It's just a good brew. Yeah, this series especially, I really, <laughs> I'm really into, and, and you as well. Um, it just brings back fond memories of kind of like years gone mm -hmm. by. And, and that's like, I think the whole idea of, of this whole thing is to just remind you of, you know, the bygone era, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I kind of bring you back to a little bit, uh, give you a little bit of nostalgic, you know, feel. I think it resonates with our generation because we were children you know, during the late 80s, early 90s. So we lived through all this terrible like design work of like shapes. For some reason, like triangles, rectangles, and circles were a thing in the early 90s. And, like everything had it. It's true. <laughs> and squiggle lines, like why was that Squigglies a design feature? Man. I have no idea. <laughs> Dude, somebody came up with it and they were like, that's brilliant, run with that. And like everything from then on was copied from that one guy that they created it or something. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the Terrible. hell happened there. Terrible idea. But they why even, just just generic ass? Cr there's little hops in there. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. There's green little hop flowers. It's but cute. like just lines and like Plus squiggies. Signs, it's like, like <laughs> you know what it is. It's like <laughs> Tetris. It's like a Tetris can. Thank you very much, Matt, for uh, sending this our way. We appreciate it. Uh, every time we see you guys, it's always a trip, and we love hanging out. Uh, if you are in the area, check out Precarious Brewing Company. We really like those guys, and everything they do seems to just knock it out of the park. So another one of those Virginia breweries that just. It's just really, Excellent, really good. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about those guys. All right, guys. Well, if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure and click that subscribe button and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.